Howdy, everyone. My name is Cinnamon Toast And welcome back to Zero Escape. God dang it, this game is going a lot longer than I thought it would be going, but it's okay because it's super interesting. We got um, we got everything open in this game. It's gonna be a good time. Leave no one behind. I may leave somebody behind. I'll head back to the stairs and take the elevator down to E deck. Yeah. Jen, you can take the stairs up to B deck. All right, that sounds good. But um. What? what? Could you stop calling me by that code name when we're alone? Oh, oh, you don't like the code name? Uh huh. Uh, oh, uh, sure, right. Yeah, uh, baby um, cakes. I'll call I'll, you whatever you that. want. Um. Chumpy. Oh, um. It, no, it's nothing. All right, I'm going then. What? <laughs> he was looking at the water. Uh, we had that conversation earlier. How she'll get wet down there if we get in the water. And then he's like, <laughs> looks at the water like. Oh. Yeah, I'll call you, yeah. Be careful. <laughs> You'll be careful too, Jumpy. Can you not call me Jumpy? Yeah, That'd be great. Got it. Uh-oh. Tragedy always strikes when one least expects it. But to wait for a man to stand before striking him down seems almost crueler than dealing the fatal blow while he lies on the ground. A light in a dark place, June's smile had given him hope, both for escape and possibility. For something else. Possibly for something else. For something else. <laughs> it was that hope that raised his spirits just enough that it might soon be fully dashed. His, he opened the elevator door, and there she was. A woman sat slouched against the wall. Lotus. Junpei felt his blood turn into ice. Her body was limp, and her skin smooth and pale as always. <laughs> Dang, she's dead. Covered in bright blood, blood, black, blah, 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 blah. She's dead. Can't talk. Too surprised. Chupe felt his chest constrict. He couldn't breathe. And his legs began to shake. A slow, cold drop of sweat trickled down his back. He felt his sum stomach somersault. Chupe's mind went blank. All of his thoughts were placed with endless hissing white. Driven by a little more than instinct, he began to walk towards Lotus slowly. Each slow movement of his stiff limbs brought him closer to her corpse. Finally, he stood next to her. Robotically, he bent down and pushed, put his hand against her neck. There was no pulse. No rise and fall of breathing. She was slightly warm. Something somewhere in Junpei's shaken mind told him that that meant she had been killed recently. Yet Junpei thought, his mind slowly returning, she had been killed. Someone had killed her. There was a deep cut on the left side of her chest. Blood still oozed from it, although clearly her heart had stopped beating some time ago. The weapon had been a knife then. Perhaps she had been stabbed in the heart once. She would have died immediately. He took little comfort from knowing she must have suffered very little. Only then did Jumpy notice. Lotus's bracelet was gone. Lastly, we have discussed how to remove the bracelets. One, you escape from this shift. Two, more quickly, which is zero. And at last, once the bracelet is taken outside the confine of the shift, or the outside of the mirror's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shift down automatically. Was that why the killer had ended Lotus's life? So that they might have the number eight bracelet? If that was true, the killer was whoever wanted the number eight bracelet, or perhaps more accurately, the person who had gained the most by obtaining the number eight bracelet. Who was that? Who would benefit the most from the number eight bracelet? The thought only just entered Jumpy's mind when mm, he heard a noise, a sound like a sharp knife cutting through white, wet meat, <laughs> or white meat, same thing really. It struck him as strange that the noise came from inside his own body. A moment later, the pain hit him. It wasn't merely pain, it was heat. Extreme heat as well. He felt as though molten iron had been splashed against the side of his body. Finally, his brain made the connection. He had been stabbed. But where? His body was quickly going numb. He couldn't tell where the knife had met his flesh. Given the circumstances, however, he had most likely been stabbed in the back. Whoever had killed Lotus had now done the same to Junpei as well. His voice was a little more than a weak groan. 
With what little strength he had left, Junpei turned his body, trying to catch a glimpse of his attacker. But as he did, the knife dug deep itself deeper, twisting viciously. Yeah. <coughs> he collapsed to the floor, a puppet with his strings cut. His arms and legs lay where they fell, idly twisted in an awkward position. Junpei's body was entirely numb. He could feel the blood leaking out of him, but nothing would move. Nothing save his eyes. As he lay on the floor, his life ebbed away. Junpei finally saw his attacker. Two tiny images of the killer reflected in his eyes. With that recognition came nothing. He felt no emotion. He felt no emotions, no anger, no sadness, not regret. The paralysis had claimed his body. The paralysis that had claimed his body had reached his mind. The killer glanced down at his body. Then without a word, climbed to the elevator and was gone. His eyesight began to fade. The world grew blurry and began to dissolve into an empty white fog. The fog crept to the edge of his mind and worked inexorably inward. Inexorably inward, dot, dot, dot. Soon it swallowed up the last of the remaining of Junpa's mind and his consciousness left him. There was nothing more. Into utter emptiness he fell. Into zero. Whatever Junpa had been would have had was been gone. Blah 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 blah. I can't read. I'm dyslexic as crap. <laughs> Bad end. Bad end. Oh no. Bad end. Dang. Got stabbed. All right. Okay, everybody at home. The the um, the freaking Twitch chat almost had a freaking heart attack because I I need to go get this ending first. Apparently. We we're about to go get like the super true ending and we're we'll gonna save that one for last so we, we we changed our keys We got this thing locked. We're gonna see what this ending is and then we'll go see what the real ending is All right, so yeah, let me just let me just skip all the way up to what's ever gonna happen. What the hell? Come on. We gotta hurry. Oh, she didn't even tell me she has a note that time Clover What's that on your back a stick? Hey Clover? What the hell's that thing on your back? You got a stick on her back? Is she ignoring me? For crying out loud. We must not we must have not became friends on this path. She must not like me now. She's got a stick though. Hey, what about door two? Door two. What? What? What about door two? Door two is the only one we didn't. We haven't gone through it, I mean. Yeah? Yes, that is true. Do we need to? Are you to? guys okay with that? Not investigating it, I mean? So what? We found door nine. We don't need any of the other doors. What's the point? Uh oh. Huh? She's about to bust crazy What's on us. What's the point in going to door nine? Huh. Huh. We can't all go through it. Right? Hmm. Then we should do what we have to do before we go any further. Hmm. What are you about to it's do? It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Jigsaw, yeah. The best way to finish it quickly is to do the border pieces first. I mean, I mean, my 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 danger you know? sense is tingling right now. Uh, I'm expecting her just to come out and start what? attacking people. You think all seven of us should go to door nine, and then we argue over who stays behind and who gets to go? We can go look at it first because there's two do doors. Do we really want to do that again? <sighs> who knows? If we check out door two, maybe we'll find something. Maybe we can find a way to get all of us out. Mm. Huh. I don't know what might be in there. We may not find anything. But don't you think it'd be better to at least have a look? I mean, am I wrong? Does that sound wrong to you guys? You sound wrong to me. Huh. Sounds like something's bad wrong. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, you do have a point. No, she doesn't. Shut up. The last time I checked the clock, it was 4.30. It's not like we've got a lot of time, but if we're quick about it, we might have time to take a look. Okay. You're right. Let's go take a look at door two. The elevator can take us down to door... Who shall go then? Let's see. Me. Then June 7 and I need to go with her. Mm. Hey, why do you get to... I don't mind. We'd only waste time arguing over. Jumpy, I'm okay too. Mm -mm. See? 
Can we just go now? <sighs> all right. Let's. I'll see you later. Okay. We're all gonna die. I don't know. So, where was door number two? Lotus, would you be so kind as to go with me? Lotus, stay away from him. Stay away from him, Lotus. I'll go with you. Well, I didn't think people still talked that way outside of the 1950s. Ooh. Well, I'm a mother. Would that be a problem for you? Uh, that <laughs> wasn't what I meant to. I was hoping you would come with me. <laughs> Seriously, though, I was kidding. <laughs> so, where was it you wanted to take me? There's something I wanted to show you. Hey, man, what the hell? I'm not important enough? Well, it's not like that. Once I've shown Lotus, I'll show you. Really? Of course. Don't do it. Fine. Do whatever you want. He's bad news bears, we Thanks already know. Today. Are you coming, Lotus? No. Fine. God, dang Doesn't it. look like they're going to be back anytime soon. Alright, bye, Lotus. Goodbye forever. I might as well go and see whatever it is you think is so important. Thank you. Well then, shall we go? They're just gonna leave. They're just gonna straight up leave us. Ah, <sighs> they're so slow. And what's keeping Ace and Lotus? Ace and Lotus are not coming back. Clover, I guess you're the first one back. The first one back. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, girl. Where's everybody What's else? What's this up? Where's, what, happened? What, what, what happened to everybody, girl? Where are Ace and Lotus? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Ace said he wanted to show Lotus something, so they went into that hallway. Oh, then they went over there? Uh, don't be scared. Yeah, I think so. So where are June, Santa, and Seven? Why aren't they with you? <sighs> you really want to know? No, I don't want to know. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Here. Let me no, show No! Get away from me! Huh? Bracelets. Oh my god. No! <laughs> They're Holy all shit. dead! No. She, she killed them all! No, 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 no way. No way. I this, knew it. This has got to be some kind of joke. I this, knew it. This can't be real. Huh. Three. Seven. Huh. Six. Six. Yeah, you gotta kill him. We know. We know. Shut up. <gasps> Why? Revenge for my brother. He was forced into door three and murdered. You need at least three people to open no, the door. No, but but they didn't do it. Who were the two that opened that they door? They didn't do them? it. We already know they didn't do it. No, it was Ace. Ace did it by himself. It only have been Santa and Seven. But why'd you have to kill That's why my baby cakes them. too? Why? Why did you kill June? Because she tried to protect them. She was in my way. She had to die too. <sighs> no. I expected this to happen like on our first ending. For no. her to kill everybody, but you know. Hey, June Bay. <sighs> my turn. Oh, God. <sighs> hey. Hey, girl. How you doing? Let's go. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's leave this ship. No problem. Take her hand. What the hell are you talking about? To to open a numbered door? Yes, I know. You need at least three people. But as long as we have this... That's... the zero bracelet. Yeah, the zero bracelet. You've got, You've got something, something in your pocket. In your what is it? it? Oh, this? Wait. Uh, um... But... This is... But no, the zero bracelet is number six. We already know that too. It's not going to work. It's not actually zero. So we can't get out. See? You get it now? Because I'm number five. She's number four. So that's nine. And she thinks the zero is going to be the third person. It's just going to be zero. But it's not going to work. It's number six. Unless it changes. If we have the zero bracelet, we can leave. No, you we can't. You and I can open door nine with just the two of us. See? So let's go. <sighs> Come on. Hurry up. <sighs> Junpei. Uh, uh, Junpei. No, she's gonna stab me in the face, man. Uh, uh, Clover. Yeah? Ooh! I knew it. I knew it. That axe! That was the stick. It's a goddamn axe murderer. Thanks, Junpei. Bro, look at those heels she's got on. I'm just gonna borrow this, okay? Yeah, you go borrow it. It's not gonna work. You bitch. You dirty bitch. Bad end. Wah, 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 wah. Put him in. One, four, three, Save eight, Snake. Three, four, two, Get him one. out.
Yeah! Yeah! Huh. No way! Yeah! Why, Why are you... <laughs> oh! Snake Coon! Oh, is that you, Clover? Snake Coon! I apologize for worrying you. You're free, baby! Snake! You, you did it! Why? Mm -hmm. Junpei? And Seven? Is that you? Mm -hmm. Is everyone else there as well? Oh. <laughs> Jeez. You're, you're back! From outer space. Yay! Gently now. Gently now. is still a little weak. Oh, you're back! You're back! You're really here! All the hugs. Oh, you're back! Come now, what's gotten into you? We you're thought you was dead, yo! From the grave. I mean, you were in a coffin. Not as though you did. I really thought you were dead. Huh? You jerk! Idiot! I see. I believe I understand things rather well now. Thank you. You're welcome. In the shower room, there <sighs> is a dead body wearing my clothes. Yeah. Because of that, you thought that I was dead, correct? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. You also discovered a corpse in the captain's quarters, and Santa turned on you here, in this room. Do I have it straight? Well, yep, that's the it. dead body in the captain's quarters is a surprise. Sorry. There wasn't a good time to tell you. Don't worry about it. Well then, I've got a pretty decent idea of what happened while I was indisposed. It's still something of a mystery who did all this, and why. The mm -hmm. corpse in the shower room that looked like me, and the corpse in the captain's quarters. Why were they killed in the way they were? You don't know? No. Why would I? The guy in the shower room. We don't know who he is, so let's just call him Mr. X. Anyway, Mr. This Mr. X. X is wearing Snake's clothes, but you're wearing some kind of weird robes. That means someone took your clothes and put them on Mr. X. We need to figure out who that was. I apologize, but I have no idea who might have done this to me. I only just now woke up. I was unconscious during all the events you just described to me. They must have undressed me and changed my clothes during that time. When were you knocked out? When we split up to look for the red. Where did they get you? Do you remember? It was a small room in one of the hallways on sea deck. What happened? Mm -hmm. The same thing that happened to every one of us when we were abducted. G gas. A canister releasing some sort of gas was thrown into the room. I believe the gas is some sort of incapacitating agent. Then that means it was... Zero. Looks that way, huh? There's nothing else I have to tell you. When I woke up, I was in this coffin. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did Zero make Mr. X wear Snake's clothes? How would that benefit Zero? Yeah, these are all the questions I've been asking the whole goddamn oh, game! Wait. What the hell does any of it mean? Yeah, what does it mean? And Why? I have no idea how I got the passcode for the coffin either. Yeah, that was crazy. Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. Where did those words come from? Why did I feel compelled to push the buttons on the bracelet after hearing them? All I know is my fingers moved on their own. It was like... It I did it subconsciously. Yeah, we helped him out. I don't get it. What the hell does any of it mean? <sighs> also, Snake and Clover had been subjects in a similar experiment nine years ago. The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. And someone did actually die. Her name was... There had been another experiment conducted on this same ship Years ago. That's probably freaking June. And a girl had died doing it. Morphogenetic field theory. The two murders. Yeah. Switching clothes. The nonary game. <sighs> oh. Zero. Zero. He's the ringleader. The person who trapped nine of us on this sinking ship. It's Zero true. should know everything. If we can uncover Zero's identity, all of our questions will be answered. Facts. <sighs> At any rate, we'll have plenty of time to decipher the details later. Junpei, it was 4.30 the last time you checked the clock, yes? That yes. means we have less than an hour. We must hurry. Hey, uh, how are we gonna get out of here? Isn't that obvious? 
through the other number nine door. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're right. With Snake, we can open the door. Don't tell me you hadn't figured that out. Come on, you gotta tell me these things. <laughs> I, uh, assumed you'd figured it out. <sighs> Forget it. Let's just get going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Party right. posse. You guys ready to go? Yes. Yep. God, not yet. Huh? Before we go in, I'd like to check something. Uh oh. You want to check something? Yeah, but before I do, Seven, could you pull the lever? I want to make sure we can verify with just the four of us. What do you mean? We don't need... Just do it. But if the door opens, don't go in yet, okay? <clears throat> Please, this is... I really need to check this, okay? <sighs> Work with me here. Let's check it. Sure. Yep, that's the door. Right. That means the four of us can go into door nine. Yeah. So, we knew that already. It's obvious. Obvious. Yeah. You're right. It is. Now, what happens if we add Zero's bracelet? What? Zero's bracelet? Oh, yeah, because she has it. Why don't you take it out, Clover? <laughs> so you did know I had it. Yeah, I'm like psychic now. I know everything. I picked it up because I thought it might be useful sometime. Well, you probably would blow up if you went through with it. This was on the left well, hand. Well, it is deactivated, isn't it? Captain's court. If you look at it, you can see it's got a zero on the face. Just to make this a little easier to talk about, uh, I'm gonna call the guy we found dead in the captain's quarters uh, Cap. Sure, whatever, it doesn't matter. Then I should be able to open door nine with just me, Clover, and his bracelet. Though the big question is, if Cap is the mastermind of this game, will he really put one of these bracelets on? Anyway, uh, let's just give it a shot. Clover, give me your hand. Uh, okay. Now the captain's bracelet, and pull the lever. Nope, doesn't work in the six. It. Now, what does this tell us? Maybe the bracelet has to be on your wrist in order for it to work? No, that's impossible. Did you see how the panel showed a third asterisk when I scanned Cap's bracelet? Whether or not it's on your wrist doesn't matter. All you have to do is put the bracelet near the panel for it to register. Yeah, we know that. Huh. Looks like you're right. See? So what does that mean? There's only one possibility. That bracelet isn't the number zero. Is that what you're saying? It's number That's six. Right. Then what number is it? Let's find out. It's number six. All right, uh, pff. yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's try seven, me, and cap. If this combination opens the door. Okay, yeah, we got number six. Hey, it opened. Got the door opened. This is not new news. What? Why? Isn't it obvious? Cap's bracelet is number six. But doesn't it say zero? Yes. This isn't a zero. The symbol on here isn't a number zero. It's a letter O. O? Oh. Whoa, wait a minute. I don't get it. I mean, we figured out that Cap's bracelet is six, right? Yeah. Does that mean there are two people with sixes? There is, most likely, only one person with a six. But I don't get it. What about June? What about June indeed? Well, this is only an educated guess, but I think June's number was never six to begin with. Dun dun dun. Her bracelet was flipped. It's number nine. She's number nine. Wait. But wait, if that's true, that means Ace was never actually able to get out with Lotus, right? Hang on. Yeah, he was—he would never be able to get out with his Lotus. What? Uh, but that also makes sense, though, because nine doesn't actually change the the route that they need to go through doors. Like if it's if it's if they have a total of eight and they add they add her nine, then it's still you know seven plus one. You know, huh? What an idiot! Flip bracelet. In other words, June's real number is. Nine. Dun, dun, dun. That seems the most likely. Then all this numbered door stuff was just a load of crap? But wait, hang on. If it was six and she was, and she's been going through doors with people, how does that work? I can't reverse math that. Why would you say that? What doors did she go through? How's she been getting through door? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, because no. if June is nine, then the numbers wouldn't match up. Here. Look. Yeah. Ah, you're figuring you're List mathing it out all for the me. Number doors June's gone through. Hey, okay, the game knows. The game I'll knows. Let you know what I'm writing, okay? Okay. <laughs> so yeah. 
Yeah. She wouldn't have been able to go through anything. And that's everything. I wrote down which door she went into and with whom. Mm -hmm. And I wrote what all the numbers were. So if you switch nine in wherever there's a six, the numbers don't work. Oh, wait, you're supposed to. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, yes, yeah, so the numbers don't work. My bad. Yeah, so she wouldn't, she wouldn't be able to go into any of them. If the digital root is seven, then you can't open door four. If the digital root is two, then... Clover, do you notice anything interesting on that list? What do you mean? You're talking about three, right? Three? Santa's always in the room with her. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, that's right. He's always there. What about it? That's quite simple, really. They're in cahoots! You told me that the first time you came to this room, Santa was the first to refuse to leave June behind. Now, doesn't that beg the question why? Why would Santa do such a thing? God dang. The answer is easy. He stayed and stole my girl! Because Santa can't open door nine with only seven in Lotus. He knew it. Of course, there's only one reason for that. His number isn't actually three. What? What is his number? Santa's real number. Seven? Would you be so kind as to modify my sister's equations? Yeah, sure. This is what you were getting at, right, Snake? Hmm. Hmm. Is it zero? You. That is exactly what she... right, Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> the old, the old double flipper. Santa's true number wasn't three; it was zero. Bum, ba, ba. No we'll way. see how it works out. I don't know. This game, this game is pulling the sheets off everything right now. I don't know to show what's going Santa on. Santa is zero. Maybe. And June was nine, not six. I mean, what if she was actually six and he was zero? What would that, what would that equal out? Hang on, let me see. Nineteen. Eh, oh yeah, I guess that would work out. All right. Conversely, Santa was zero, not three. Plus three and minus three, they cancel one another out. Nothing appears out of order. Santa was still playing by the rules of the notary game this whole time. Precisely. So you're saying Santa planned this whole thing? I'm not sure if he acted alone or not, but I think it is safe to conclude that he is zero, if my hypothesis is correct. <laughs> Snake's hypothesis. Something doesn't seem right. Mm. June's bracelet being flipped. Even if that were possible, that would mean there are two number nine bracelets. And if that's the case... All right, that's enough talking. Let's go. It's high time we went through that door. Yeah, so where is number six then, if there's no number six? Uh... Who's got number six? I guess the captain had number it's right six. There. Why did Captain have number six? So many questions! Oh. All right, let's keep going. I think these stairs go to the bottom deck. Looks dry. Let's head down. Hey, it's a... Hmm, this is the Neptune symbol. There must be a key around here somewhere. How's he know that? Do you feel that? Uh, Neptune key. I only have the Uranus key card. It's a different planet. Plus, it's the wrong kind of key. Yeah, it's a card. It wouldn't Let's fit in there. Turn Shut around up. and go back for now. Yeah. So we gotta get a key. Do I have one hey, final puzzle? Door. Hey. The this time. It's the Uranus symbol. Uranus, not Uranus, this huh? This is the place. Okay. Ooh. Wow, it's totally full of books. Hey, are we going to find all ice in here? There's so many. I don't know where to look. All right, if we want to get through that door out there, we need the Neptune key. Okay. I say we split up and look for it. Okay. I thought Very I was done well. with puzzles. Sure, I, was, right. I was looking for Good. an ending. Let's get started then. We don't have a lot of time. Hurry. God dang it. Alice sleeps in the small chamber past the Forest of Knowledge. As he began his search, for reasons he didn't fully understand, Junpei felt those particular words float through his mind. Alright, got the library. How's my flow doing? Shh, shoo, what the f What is this? What is this? I got like 20 things to go through all of a sudden! What is this? Oh my god, I thought we was gonna be done! No! What? No! <laughs> How dare you, game? How dare you? It's freaking 3 a.m. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Oh god! Sheldrake Five. Sheldrake Five. Oh, that's where the books that we just looked at. I think I saw the rest of this collection somewhere. Yeah, I think it was somewhere around here. Let's go take a look. Yeah. Okay. Sheldrake. Have you heard of him? Sheldrake. I mean. Really? Come on, man. Not right now. I don't need a lesson. And uh, yeah, Lotus told me about him. There's a, There's British, a British biochemist, biochemist named Morph. Yep. Really. From Lotus, huh? Well, yeah. Clover also said something to me about that stuff. She did? Yeah, um, what was it? The ability to access a morphogenetic field is the first is epiphany. <sighs> that girl. I told her not to tell anyone. Oh, why? I did. Why? Tell me more. Well, look, man, I didn't push it because we're in a hurry, but I'm kind of sick of this. How about you just tell me, okay? Yeah, I'm sick of it too. Please, just get it over with. Tell you what? Don't give me that. About the experiment. Ugh. Ugh. Very well, fine. I'll tell you everything. Yeah, Snake, tell me everything. But not here. Ugh, Let's move you. to the Come top on, floor. Snake. Why? You may forget Sheldrake 5. Yeah, whatever. I suppose I might as well start by telling you why I kept quiet. To be honest, the explanation is quite simple. I'm sure it is. Zero told me not to. I had little choice. He didn't walk up and tell me, of course. He gave me a message engraved on a card. That's a braille card. It looks just like the one you showed us earlier. So you had two cards. No, only one. You shouldn't tell us everything in huh? the first one. What do you mean? I thought that card just had some rules for the nonary game on it. Yes, it did. And those were the rules I read you. However, they were not the only thing on the card. Yeah, I knew that. I called that from the very beginning, you sneaky punk. There was something I didn't read. Well, mm. perhaps I should say there was something I couldn't read. Oh. And that was... Tell no one of the events that took place nine years ago. Tell, and I activate your sister's detonator. Ooh, dang! It's a threat on our lives. Oh, well, um... Well, what about Clover? Did she get a message from Zero Two? I don't believe she did, but... Doesn't it strike you as strange that Zero would shut my mouth, but not hers? Yeah. Yeah. To be on the safe side, however, I told her it was best not to tell anyone. Still, apparently she told you. That girl. What's wrong with her telling me? I figured some stuff out with the thing she told me. Hmm. hmm. I mean, it looks like the whole activate her detonator thing was just a bluff. She's prancing around downstairs happy as a clam now that you're back. That's very true. I've decided I can trust you. Oh, thank you. I've decided to tell you the truth. Oh, here we go, baby. The chance that Santa is zero is very high. That's true. It is very I high. I feel I can assume Santa doesn't have the time to observe us at the moment. And at any rate, even if he were, I very much doubt he would kill us. Why? Clover told me about the four-leaf clover. About the words. Yeah. If he knew about that, then he was in my group during the first experiment. I'm sure of it. Yeah? He wouldn't kill us. No matter what the situation was. He's had a gun, though. Threatening us. Hey, uh, Snake. Can you get to tell me the truth, please? Yes, I know. You want to know what happened during the experiment? Yeah. How much do you know? Clover told me about... Yeah. I see. The morphogenetic field in the experiments nine years prior. How the experiments had taken place simultaneously at two locations. And the girl that died during the experiment. She told you all that, did she? Hmm. At any rate, I now know how much you've learned. Oh, yeah? All that remains for us to determine is who did this and why, right? Yes. Can you tell me what happened? Yes. The people who organized the initial experiment were from a company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals. I know that already. There were four of them running the show. I know that too. Gintaro Hongo. Uh-huh. Nagisa Nijisaki. Teruaki Kubota. Kagechika Musashido. Dun, dun, Hongo dun, dun. was the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. That's Ace. Hey, the guy on the left is the ninth man. And the guy on the right is the guy that... Oh, yeah! Oh, my God! It's like, I don't know who the guy... Oh, the guy all the way to the right is the captain, isn't it? These guys are all dead. Well, except for Ace. The guy on the left is the ninth man from the beginning of the game that blew up, right? The guy on the right is the person that... They dressed up to look like Snake that Ace killed when he thought he killed Snake. And the guy all the way to the right looks kind of like the captain. I don't know if it is or not. The captain's dead in the captain's quarters. The plot thickens. Nijisaki was his right-hand man and did the lion's share of the planning. Hmm. 
Kubota led the company's research and development division. Musashida was their majority stockholder. It was these four people who planned the initial experiment. Hmm, let me simplify it for you. Hongo designed it, and Nijisaki put it all together. Kubota developed the technology required, and Musashido provided the cash. Huh, so it's Hongo, Nijisaki, Kubota, Musashido. I'll never remember those names, don't even of stop course, saying it. More than four people were required to conduct an experiment of this scale. To that end, they organized a top secret team to assist them with their research. All in all, they gathered ten people or so. Those ten completed their team and they were able to begin the project. They named it the Nonary Project. Mm -hmm. The purpose of the experiment was to research the prospect of controlling a human mind through sheer will. What? The uh, vessel, I suppose you could say, for this control was the morphogenetic field. Yeah, huh. some imaginary thing we don't know if it exists Why did the glycerin suddenly begin to crystallize? Oh no, not this story again. Why did the crystal structure of EDT undergo a sudden change? Why did the rats improve their puzzle-solving skills with each generation? Experiments with humans produce the same results. The more people who knew the answer to a question, the more there were who could answer correctly without having seen the problem before. Why is that? How could it happen? Hmm. Fantasy, that's why. The answer is that the shape of the answer has been stored in a field invisible to the naked eye. Yeah, sure, sure it has. And through that field, the resonant event transmits information related to that answer. That's essentially the idea behind morphogenetic fields. But that's just a theory. Can't bring yourself to believe it? Yeah. Let's say someone killed another person because the devil told them to do it. Whether the devil exists or not has no relevance to the murder. They believe the devil exists. Whether or not he does is immaterial. So what matters here is that Hongo believed in the morphogenetic field. That's right. But I still don't get it. You said they wanted to figure out how to control people, right? That is what you were saying. Yes. So how are they going to do that with a morphogenetic field? That's what I'm wondering, man. I'll keep it simple. Please. Let's suppose 10,000 people have solved a certain problem. The chance of you knowing that answer, even if no one has told you, will go up. Uh -huh. Let's have another example, shall we? Say one million people were to do a handstand right now. Tomorrow, the chances of you doing a handstand would be higher, even if you had heard nothing of this hypothetical mass handstand. Mankind's thought process and actions are all part of a resonant event. All mm. of the resonant events encoded in the fields are projected onto you. Of course, this assumes you believe in this theory. Do you follow so far? I mean, I do. I mean... It is kind of weird in the world whenever like something happens and then you notice it happening a lot more. I don't know, like you see like a certain car going down the road and then all of a sudden you see a lot of them. But that's just because like your awareness has been raised to that thing and you like noticed it. But I don't know, so like that's weird. So it is weird. I get where they're like, where they're going with this. But uh, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Now, if there was a person who had the same effect as those millions of people, what would happen? If that one person were to do a handstand, other people would find themselves wanting to do handstands as well. Can you imagine what a person with powers like that would be able to do? Yeah, it's like the like dabbing, you know, everybody wanted to do that. It's crazy. Just people started dabbing, but they saw that on their social media. Not the same thing, but still, dumb stuff. <laughs> Come on, there's no way. No goddamn way. I'm not done. Imagine All another right. scenario. Imagine another person. This yeah. is an ordinary person. Let's say he does a handstand. What yeah. if there was someone who could grab the resonant event he created by doing that and use it to make other people do handstands? What would happen then? That'd be, that'd be crazy, mm. man. A person who has the power to write to the field and someone who can read from the same. You could think of them as the writer and the reader or the transmitter and the receiver. Uh -huh. What would the world be like if there were people with abilities like these? Crazy, so yo. So the transmitter's resonant event can be transmitted through the field and sent to the receiver. And then the transmitter can control the receiver however they wish. Ooh, is someone gonna be controlled by saying, the end of it? Right? Yes. Close enough, at least. Come on, that's just crazy. Well, if you want to prove that, then you'll have to test it first. At least, that was how they thought. That was why they decided to do their experiment. That mm. was how the Nonary Project began. Dun dun dun! By the way, Junpei? What? Have you ever heard of the Gansfeld experiment? Yeah. Yeah, that was an experiment in telepathy, right? 
You place a pair of subjects in separate rooms. Then you show one a picture and ask the other what they see. Interesting. I'm impressed. Yes, that is exactly correct. So, why did you bring up the Gansfeld experiment? It was used to screen subjects for the Nonary Project. The hospital in a remote town was affiliated with Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Hongo used it to conduct experiments on visiting children in secret. Some of them, he found, had potential. He began to gather children that showed promise. Children that seemed as though they might be able to access the field. Of course, none of them volunteered. They were... Kidnapped. Kidnapped the kids, god dang, Hongo. There were nine pairs of siblings taken, for 18 children total. For reasons that were not fully understood at the time, each pair had one transmitter and one receiver. They were split perfectly. As hmm. such, the 18 children were split into two groups of nine. The children who were put into group Q were the ones who excelled at transmitting. They were transferred to the mock experiment building known as Building Q in the Nevada desert. The children who excelled at receiving were put in Group A. We're, we're in the receiving group. Group huh? A was then placed on the former hospital ship Gigantic. From the experiments he had conducted so far, Hongo had learned the following. There are two things that can increase one's resonance with the fields. The first is epiphany. The other is danger. Have you ever been faced with an especially difficult problem and thought about it very long and very hard until finally an answer suddenly appeared in your mind? It may seem obvious to say so, but Stuff that's getting deep, what is man. meant by epiphany. Super deep. The information I mean, I get it, but God dang. that epiphany can be easily transmitted through the fields, where it can be easily interpreted. Adding danger to that equation allows for even easier field access. That's where Hongo came in. They set up a number of puzzles across the gigantic. Uh -huh. The participants had to solve each one before they could move to the next room. Mm -hmm. Of course, he hadn't forgotten to include danger. Danger? He had detonated a bomb on the hull of the gigantic. The children in Group A were forced to play the nonary game as the ship sunk. By forcing the children into a life or death situation, Hongo hoped to increase the likelihood of their tapping into the fields. The children uh -huh. from Group Q, on the other hand, were confined to the mock experiment building, Building Q. Building Q duplicated the interior and puzzles of the gigantic exactly. Oh, well maybe we're in Building Q, maybe we're not actually on the boat. Every detail was exactly <clears throat> the same. Hongo explained the situation to the children in Group Q. Solve the puzzles you find throughout the rooms. When you have the answers, transmit that information to the children in Group A. If you succeed, they will be able to solve the puzzles and escape. But if you fail, then the gigantic will sink and your brothers and sisters will drown. Those were his orders. Hmm. Do you know why the astronauts of Apollo 13 were able to return to Earth safely? Please, please, please tell me why. It was because NASA had access to a replica of the Apollo 13 capsule. All of the equipment, the instruments, everything. All of it identical. Everything was just like the real Apollo 13. Uh -huh. NASA was able to replicate the situation the astronauts found themselves in. By putting themselves in the same situation, they attempted to solve the problems the astronauts were dealing with. Once huh. they found solutions, they reported their find. That was how they were able to... It was the same with the gigantic and building Q. Oh boy. The children from group Q had to use the power of epiphany right. to solve the puzzles. What, this, 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 this explanation is dragging on a little, a little much. I and got it, man. What they learned I got it. The children in group, they had to access the fields to learn how they... That is the simplest explanation I can manage. All right, please stop. Oh. Hey, Junpei, Woo. Snake! How much longer are you two going to sit around on those bony asses? Oh, you like my you Get like down my booty? here already! He's right. Let's go, shall we? Yeah. We don't have much time. We need to get out of here and soon. Hold it. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? Huh? Are you sure that there were 18 kids? Why? Well, I thought it was only 16. Oh, yes. That was what they said on the news, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. I have no doubt that 18 children were abducted and used uh. in Hongo's experiment. Who are the two missing kids? After all. Dun, dun, you couldn't dun. exactly play a nonary game with any less, could you? Well, yeah, but are you saying that the news got it wrong? Yes, I am. Yes, I there am. There were two more children. However, they had no relatives that I'm aware of. I imagine no one filed a police report when they went missing. They were brother and sister, yeah. like Clover and I. A Santa. The brother's name was Aoi. 
Oi. The sister's name was... Her name was... <laughs> her name was Akane. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun! That was the girl who... died. <laughs> Akane Kurashiki died? Nine years ago? Then... Who is Chun? Dun, dun, dun. Finally, we got to some goodness. No, 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 that, that's impossible. It yeah. Akane isn't that uncommon of a name. If Snake had known her last name, that's a different matter. And so they share a name. A lot of other people do, too. It doesn't mean anything. It was someone else. Of course it was. It has to be. <laughs> is something wrong, Junpei? Your breathing sounds strange. Oh, uh, no, it's, it's nothing. I'm fine. Let's get back down there, all right? <sighs> I couldn't do it. Why didn't I ask? What's her last name? I just couldn't get the words to come out. Whoa, you big sissy. You should have asked him. Oh, the oh, door! The door! Did that just close on its own? Sure did. Don't tell me we can't go back. I don't know. Let's see. Damn it. Can't it looks like it. it locks automatically. Man. Is there any other way out? No, oh well, God. Uh, there's Junker another door over on the right. There's a card reader next to it. We got another puzzle. It's got a red light on it, though, so I'm pretty sure it's locked, too. But there is a card reader, right? Yeah. yeah. Then perhaps if we find a key card, we could open the door and leave? E. Well, yeah, that might work, but... Uh, oh. Hey, wait a what minute. What other option do we have? Stop arguing about it. Are you it. saying we're going to have to search through this room for one little card? Maybe. Oh, man. Hmm. There is a lot of junk in here. <sighs> Looks that way. A lot of... It's like the tinker room. Oh, it's like where they're putting all the stuff together in here. No. For real? Well, we can sit down and wait to die. If that... I rather doubt that. However, we have. Why are we even having this conversation? Let's find that key. Oh, and the Neptune key as well. We won't be able to get through the hallway without it. <sighs> True. <sighs> all right then. Bottom left corner of the desk. What's in here? Oh, a picture of the people. A picture. Yeah. There what they the are. Hey, they're here on the ship, too. What the hell is this? It's the picture of everybody. This man with a mustache on the right. It's the captain! We found murder it is the captain! Oh, snap! He had the zero bracelet on his left arm. Sure did. And the second man? But it's also number six. glasses and a doctor's coat. It's number nine. He blew up everywhere. The one with bracelet number nine. He died after he went into door five. Sure did. But this guy? The one in the striped suit? We know who he is. Oh man, that's Ace. Dun dun dun! Yeah, I yeah. guess it is. God dang, Ace. No doubt about it. Mm hmm. But what does it mean? What is Ace doing in this picture? We already know he's the god dang dude Not over only it all. Ace, the ninth man and Cap, too. Yeah. And they look happy, like they knew each other well. Heck yeah. Why? How? How in the world are these four men connected? You say Ace is in that picture? Yeah. It doesn't look like it was taken recently, though. Ace, the Ninth Man, and Cap all look about ten years younger. Yeah. Ah. So the Ninth Man and the man you found murdered in the Captain's quarters are also in the picture? Yeah, they are. It's is weird. Is there anyone else? Or are there only three people in the picture? I'm afraid I can't see it. No. There's one more guy. Yeah, He's I guess dead. He's got kind of long hair. He looks smart, but a little cold. He's the only one I don't recognize. Yeah, he's dead. Hmm. What's the date of the photograph? It doesn't have one. Did you look on the back? The back? Yes. The reverse. The other side. Yeah, the back of the picture. Huh. Huh. <sighs> Praying for the success of the Nonary Project. Dun, dun, dun! With Nijisaki, Kubota, and Musashido. Huh. Huh. <sighs> Then the four men in this picture were the organizers of the Nonary game nine years ago. Yes, that's obvious. That means Ace, the Ninth Man, and Cap were all responsible for making it happen. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I should be more shocked about this. Maybe you're not shocked because we 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 knew this in an alternate timeline. It's almost as if that's just how things were always supposed to be. Why? Hmm. Why am I not surprised? Ace was the one in charge of the Nonary project. But why? Why am I so calm? It's like I already knew. It's like he already knew. Dun, dun, dun! Alright guys, we're gonna pause right here. Apparently this game never ends, but there's a bunch more story left after this. It's gonna be good, hopefully. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, stay dozy, my friends! Ah!